You already know the BC anything for clans don't make sense. That's on chapter 26, verse 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feared the Lord. See, y'all all just look at the flesh. Y'all be like, oh man, why this chick so bad with that dude? Because she's wicked. You can't look at appearances. It's about what's innate. It's about the spirit. You're looking at the flesh. And when you look at the flesh, that's why they said a natural man knows nothing of spiritual things. That's why a wicked woman is given to a person of a wicked man. It's a reason why she with that dude. Stop looking at it from a fleshly point of view. They one of the same. It's just that you're looking at the outside. But a godly woman is given to him that fear the Lord. A man that falls the lost that statues and commandments of the Lord. That type of woman you will attract. You are what you attract. That's what that is. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man because you are what you attract. If you attract idiots, degenerates, foolish, unintellectual people, then that is what you are. If you attract people who are spiritual, got a high frequency, high vibration, that seeks the Lord, picks up their cross daily, that's the kind of woman you will get. That's the kind of man you will get. You are what you eat. That's why the judge a man by his fruits. Judge a man by the things that he has done in his life and what it has and what has affected the lives around him. If if you have dealt with people that are straight trash and everybody around them has turned out to be trash, everybody they pick is trash, but you want to date that person. That's why you're giving them to a portion of a wicked woman as well. Because if you're wicked, you're going to receive a woman who ain't got no morals, who ain't got no values. He ain't got no principles who don't really care about, you know, what love is about the hierarchy.